So I was watching a video on Terminator Facts, which I assume everybody does, and I had no idea that the code that you see in uh, the view of the Terminator from the first movie, that is largely from the Apple II. It's Apple II code, or assembly, and uh, it's the font and everything else, uh, which I found to be terribly fascinating. I had no idea. Um, so it's known information. Um, it came from a magazine, Nibble Magazine, a couple issues, August and September. And there's a great video on it that I was watching behind the scenes that does get into some of the programs that were actually you know, being picked from to make some of these elements. And I was actually curious about a couple um, that I didn't see what programs they belong to, in particular this compass rose and this set of degrees here. So um, checking out a couple of these graphics, I ended up looking at the magazine. Nibble Magazine um, has... Uh, let's see, the September issue has most of these graphics. So there's that fun little wavy deal. If we fast forward a bit... Oh, too far. Come down. Hey, oh. Let's back out. Oh, what do we have here? So this is our compass rose. So what program are we dealing with? Uh, this is the compass quiz. And it's just a little educational tool for people who are learning their compass directions. So notice at the bottom, it says, what is the direction from two to white? Or if you have a color monitor, pink to white. But um, did I say two to white? Two to one. Um, so two to one here is north. You'd be going north. Uh, let's say it was two to four. You'd be going northeast. Let's say it was two to three. You'd be going east. You get it. So... Um, yeah, it's just a fun little educational program, which might make sense for a brand new AI. They might want to read some educational material. Um, but the other one I was curious about, and I don't have a wonderful explanation of this one, but the degrees is also in this issue. If we fast forward a little bit. Mm, there. So it makes a reference to it in this article. And I think this is just a graphic that was made to explain drawing an arc. <laughs> so I want to be careful not to misstate anything, but um, there are some uh, parameters that you want to enter in for start angle and arc angle. And they point to figure eight. So they can give you a better idea of how zero equals 12 o'clock. So let's go to figure eight here. And there we have it. So I can't say for sure if this was made with a Mac, but I want to believe it is the case, considering the article is about Mac paint. Um, Mac paint patterns is the name of that article. So yeah, I, I feel pretty satisfied now knowing where these two images come from. But I don't know, this, this magazine I think is chocked full of images that the Terminator movie ended up using. So, I don't know, endlessly fascinating. Um, I say check out the Nibble magazine, see what else you can find. If you find anything fun, I don't know, leave it in comments. Uh, the other thing that I see a lot of is this thing called Terminator Vision. So, the way that people recommend you get into Terminator Vision is by entering in this call, negative 151, asterisk, P. So things like E online at the basic prompt, call, etc., etc. We'll give you the Terminator view. So let's move over. Uh, and I've already tried that, and I don't know if you can see what that gave me, but nothing. <laughs> I just got returned to the basic prompt here. So I feel a little silly not having recognized that call command a little earlier, though, because that is the same one you use for ADT Pro. Let me try it here with that call, negative 151, and that gets you the asterisk prompt. So now we'll hit P and we'll get that Terminator vision. Nope. <laughs> no, you do not. So I don't know exactly what happened here. I've got theories, but 
I have no explanation for what this P does currently. If you have an inkling of what this is supposed to do, I actually got my printer out. I wanted to test to see if it was a printer thing. I tested the printer, it works. Um, but nothing, nothing. So I actually took this to the Apple II Enthusiast Facebook page and had a good recommendation. Um, the L command does give you some code here. So um, I don't know if I'm using the right language. Is this machine? Machine language? I don't know. I don't know if this is part of the assembler or disassembler or not. But uh, anyways, very much looking like our Terminator vision now. So um, that L a few times and sort of see that rock for a minute. I don't know why I find that amusing, but I do. So anyways, this is what I think they were going for when talking about Terminator vision, getting into some of that code, that hexadecimal stuff that looks like the hexadecimal stuff in the Terminator here. So yeah, that is how you actually produce Terminator Vision. I, I don't know where the mix-up came from. Um, they reference this site here, the Psy Guy, and this is the earliest I could find, uh, the fairly earliest mention I could find of it. And it says the same thing, the P command. Um, not sure why, not sure where that came from. So if anybody has any information on that, I would be curious. But um, yeah, Hit enter after 151, and then L will give you the Terminator view. That, that should be what I think they were going for. So anyways, I hope to learn a little bit more about assembler, disassembler, and that monitor, that call negative 151. I don't know much about peaks and pokes, etc. That's not already obvious, but hopefully I can start learning. Um, fun note, that was also written by Alan Baum, a very interesting guy. I hope to do a video on him soon. So I believe uh, that call command gets you into this program, the monitor, the system monitor program. I don't know. Hopefully I'm not talking out my butt here. But uh, last thing, uh, I really want to get into assembly lines. That's a book I think that will really help me figure this stuff out. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed. I thought that was fun. Hopefully that'll help people out to understand what that Terminator vision thing is if they see it in a video or on a website, etc. So, anyways, do you have any interesting Apple II Terminator facts? Uh, I would be curious to know. So, I appreciate the watch. Thank you.